We thought before getting too far into where AI is today, we should take a look at where it started. Well, that led us to Sulphur, Oklahoma, and a veterinarian who's seen it all. It's a road he's driven hundreds of times. Now swing to the left, just follow the road up here. And over the last 60 years, Doc Easley has seen a lot of history at this ranch. This is the bull, it's the best show bull that's ever been shown, got the best record. He was shown 17 times and was champion 17 times. Today, it's the Jacobs Ranch. But when Doc was hired in 1946, this was the Turner Ranch home to one of the most popular Hereford bulls in American history, Hasford Rupert, 81st. And of course he couldn't mount a cow, you know, and uh, so it's quite a chore. He said, well, can you get semen breeds and cows? And I said, yeah, I had nef never been done before, I know all, but uh, it was one of the jobs bad. <laughs> I was young. And <laughs> you said, eager, of I course said, I can yeah, do it. Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> Doc took the legendary but now crippled bull and using artificial insemination, bred him to about 100 cows that very first year. And how did you do that back then? I mean, you didn't have all the well, nitrogen tanks and everything we, that we you had. We made our, uh, everything was the fresh semen. We made the artificial vaginas we used to collect the semen with. And uh, then we took, uh, we bought this glass tubing, six millimeter glass tubing, cut it up in lengths of 15 inches and fire polished the ends of it so it wouldn't, the sharp edges wouldn't damage the cows. And uh, then we didn't know about introducing the semen into the, the uh, cervix or uterus. So we had a light on our head and we deposited the semen and we used a speculum to open up the vagina of the cow so you see in there and deposit the semen right on the cervix. We got along pretty good. For the next 12 years, the Turner Ranch bred everything artificially. Hasford Rupert 81st offspring combined to sell for more than $1 million dollars earning him the reputation of the nation's first $1 million bull. A couple of years later, the Turner Ranch acquired a bull by the name of T.R. Zato Air. We started breeding him artificially, and man, his first calf crop was a knockout. They took those little yearling cattle out on the show string and they just won everything. A bull so popular, Doc couldn't breed cows fast enough. They scheduled a sale for 1954. In that sale, <clears throat> the bulls averaged $7,777. Unbelievable. T.R. Zato Air became known as the first $2 million bull. And with results like that, it wasn't long before the effects of AI began sweeping through the industry. And uh, this was the first time artificial insemination had been used under range conditions in the United States in beef cattle. And when the the uh, industry, the beef cattle industry, saw the success of Turner Ranch, what they had done. They immediately started using artificial insemination. And uh, it was the work here at, at Turner Ranch what introduced artificial insemination to the beef cattle industry. An industry where even the best bulls could only breed 30 to 40 cows. AI opened the door to breeding hundreds and eventually thousands of cows in a single year. The future is, is just unlimited almost. Now you've got to know something about technology, you know, you've got to understand a lot of things to use it. But if you're smart enough to use it, you can sure make fast pro progress with cattle. Improve, make things better. At age 94, Doc Easley is still basking in the glory, remembering every success like it was yesterday, knowing that his contribution helped shape one Oklahoma ranch and possibly an entire industry. There are a lot of old memories in here. You bet, lots of old memories here.